Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's update our view on your currency. So the first glance on the daily chart we have nothing new but this is not quite so because um, here we see very important price action that could become the key to uh, nearest price action on your currency. And I'm mostly talking about the tight standing of the market right below the strong confidence resistance on the daily chart. So you can see that market with the four sessions in a row stands very close to the 1810-1854 confidence resistance. And uh, taking into consideration uh, the strong bearish momentum that have been formed, has been formed here and no significant pullback on this upper action, as you can see no meaningful retracement has been formed yet, uh, in a normal situation the bearish momentum should press on the market and the uh, market usually uh, tending to show the deep retracement very soon after the first bounce have happened. But as you can see, after this bounce, market stands in very tight range below the confidence resistance. And uh, combining these two factors, the strong bearish momentum and the strength of the market, so it seems that some real purchases are starting somewhere around 17.15. Uh, 1750 that uh, doesn't let market to move lower. That makes me think that probably sooner the upper breakout should happen here. Because as I said, state consolidation could mean that market is building an energy and challenge of this resistance should happen very soon. On the follow time from chart, guys, this uh, consolidation takes the shape of the pennant and uh, take a look uh, in the beginning of the week, market again retested the 1750 area, it's keeping this harmonic swing. If upper action will continue, and I think that's really big chance that this will happen. OP target already has been met. So with this ABCD, it means that that was the extension, retracement, and next leg again will be extension. Next destination point following the classical approach and the hand shoulder dispatching that we have. So will be XOP, it's 1960. This will be next destination point. Also, the fact that we see the signs of the thrusting action up from the former neckline of the hand shoulders, it's also the positive sign. So in general, guys, uh, 1750 area is the, some kind of the barrier, the, the edge between the bullish uh, scenario and bearish. While market, market stands above this level, <clears throat> euro currency keeps the chance on the immediate upward continuation. Breaking of this 1750 support will mean deeper retracement, at least at least the 618, I think that's 1635, or even my market could return right back down to the previous loss. So I, I already have talked about it previously. This could become double bottom or something of that sort. It means that while, while market stands above this area, you could uh, buy against it uh, with the hope that market will continue to move higher. But no long position should be taken if market will break this down. On the hourly chart, uh, we see two mounts. First of all, our burn button trade has been complete right on Monday. So you can see our mind on Monday market even has not tested the pivot point as we suggested, but immediately has continued to move up. 618 resistance has been hit of this downward action. It means that burn button has been completed. Now, as you can see on testing of the vehicle pivot point that we also have talked about in the vehicle report, as market will open very close to the pivot point, it probably should test in the beginning of the week. That has happened a few hours Go and as a result, as you can see, market has formed pretty nice guardless triple two buy pattern. So that was an opportunity to take in the long position, and now we'll see the thrusting action to the upside. So currently, guys, I think that overall situation mostly looks bullish, so some advantage stands in the side of the bulls. Um, market stands above the 1750, keep chance on the upward continuation, forming the bullish pattern, testing and keeping above the weekly pivot point forming the tight consolidation below the strong resistance. Also, some some signs of the you know, bullish dynamic pressure could recognize if you will plant here a MCD predictor. 
so you can see that trend has turned bearish, but price action is not mostly stands in the tight consolidation. Uh, it means that the upper action here really could happen. So currently, guys, I do not see the bearish signs here, and I don't, I don't think that's this point where we need to take the short position. Uh, so if you have long position, I think that you could keep it. And this upper action could continue here while market stands above the display area. So mostly right now, I will treat the situation as bullish rather than bearish. Uh, 